We're looking at maybe two hours of no rain before it really starts to kick up again. Last day of pre-fishing for the expo. Thanks for watching Three Pound Fishing, partnered up with these fantastic companies. Good morning, folks. It's uh, the second video for pre-fishing for the Mr. Crappie Invitational. We're here in, is it called Crooked Creek? Crooked, Crooked Creek. On Taylor Rock. Beautiful morning. We got a little break from rain right now. We're looking at maybe two hours of no rain before it really starts to kick up again. Sprinkling a little bit, but very cold, 35 degrees. Not much wind, four to five mile an hour. Table Rock, because of the hills, you don't have to worry about it as much. Still, don't get me wrong. It's uh, wet and cold at Table Rock for this year's uh, event. So we're just gonna see what we can find out. Folks. Welcome back to Table Rock Lake, and this is the second episode for the practice for the Mr. Crappie Invitational 2020. Hey folks, it looks nice, and we go through a pattern of different types of temperatures and, and weather on this particular day. This is day three, and in this episode, we'll also, also show day four. But as you're gonna see here shortly, it changes drastically and quickly. And I'll tell you, it was just a struggle for pre-fishing. I don't wanna whine, but I'm just gonna tell you, it was painful, extremely painful. Here comes the rain and before you know it you're filming in an absolute downpour and you just can't talk that much so we're on the search right now we're in long creek we've made the decision at this point to stay in long creek and we're working our way all the way to the back of long creek and, and finding if we seeing if we can find some fish if we can't our next play play is going to be going to the mouth of it and start from that point and work back because we're feeling that these fish could be pushed out based off of all this rain that we've experienced now table rock really was not giving off any quality fish and it was it was interesting because we were finding and seeing other competitors in Long Creek and when we were in James the day before. In fact, you'll see Eric Cagle uh, come up here shortly. But we were all on the very part of this point back there in Long Creek. And I, I thought that Long Creek was a good play for us. I thought that, you know, the run to James was just too long for our boat. And we honestly didn't have that much success in James. Although we did fish James on probably one of the worst weather days up to this point so but we made a decision at this point that we were going to stick it out in long creek regardless we had two full days to try to learn long creek and like i said we're going all the way to the back right now as you can see and then you see you'll see eric cagle here up on the right nice guy our champ as i like to call him um, we're all the way in the back there and then uh when we don't have success here we didn't really catch any big fish we moved to the front of long creek and that's really where we started establishing kind of a pattern for ourselves and what we were going to do during this tournament So here's a black nose. This is kind of what we, yeah, this is maybe a, an 11. But it's tough fishing. I think that, I mean, we've gotten an enormous amount of water and a temperature change that was very drastic with that black nose. But probably our second best fish crappie that is today. This spot here has a lot of them, seems like. It's very tough to find the big fish right now. So this is definitely the part of the best spot we found. That's got to be a 12. 12 in? 30 second ounce slasher head, dirty milk. Thank you, Jinko Fishing. Appreciate it. This is the uh, 10 foot, 3 pound fishing elite series rod right here. Doesn't get much better. All right, so I'm gonna pause it right here real quick. This isn't day two, this is actually day four practice. Um, but I can tell you that um, it's important to know that you know the Ozark rod that I'm using is a 10 footer. And the reason why it's important is these fish were short striking. And I could set the hook on a, with an 11 or a 12, but I certainly had, it was an easier, it was easier for me with a shorter 
rod. So I thought the 10 foot was absolutely perfect. Now Marcus is fishing with a 12 foot brush buster for the most of this episode, but I loved the 10 foot, man. I could set it very, very quickly. And you're gonna see that come into play, I think a lot on day two of the tournament because the fish were short striking like you would not believe. And I was able to set the hook on almost every fish. And it was because that 10 footer is so light um, and it still has enough backbone to set the hook. So not a, not a sales promo folks, just a fact that you need to be able to set that hook extremely quick when it's a short bite, quick bite. So what you're seeing here is us working the mouth of Long Creek. This is us making the final decision that we can't, we're not catching anything good enough in the back of the creek. Let's go to the beginning of it and see if these fish have been pushed out. This is just around, if you're familiar with the lake, right around the Bass Pro Shop Marina. And we were very pleased to find a lot of good fish on this standing tender, timber. Now, first and foremost, there's standing timber everywhere on this lake. It's amazing. But this space, uh, this spot definitely had a lot for us and we were excited about finding it. Short strike and second last day of pre-fishing for the expo. Thanks for joining us. That's our first keeper. About 11 and a half. Well, the rain continues at Table Rock, and I can tell you that it's a, been a miserable pre-fish. Other than day number one, it's I'm non. Having a blast. It's non-stop, folks. Marcus says he's having a blast, but look at that! I just found a pile. Mark that, Matt. We're marking the crap out of this place. In, in anticipation of an even crappier day tomorrow, apparently. Wind's coming to come out of the north, 15 mile an hour. It's gonna be colder. Something in the, uh, I believe, low 40s? Low 40s, so. But what's interesting about Table Rock Lake is all the little, well, I guess that's why, how it got its name, all the rock on the shoreline. It's very interesting. It's a pretty lake. An early morning tomorrow and it'll be a long, wet one. Right now we're just digging over piles just like we've been the last three days. Digging over uh, trees really for the most part. Not really hitting that many roaming fish really. It's definitely, we're pr pr appreciating the fish that are sitting still. That's it. Thanks guys. I appreciate it. Please subscribe. Next event, our next uh, video will be the uh, tournament video. Probably be, well depending upon how many days we go, it'll at least be one obviously, but it could be two. Thanks for watching another three pound fishing episode sponsored by these great companies.